Kraft Foods Company presents Willard Waterman as the Great Gildersleeve. <laughs> the Great Gildersleeve is brought to you, transcribed by the Kraft Foods Company. Kraft, makers of the one and only Miracle Whip salad dressing. We say one and only because there just isn't any other salad dressing like Miracle Whip. Miracle Whip is different, and it tastes different. Miracle Whip tastes so good, it's become the most popular salad dressing ever created. More Miracle Whip is sold than the next 20 leading brands of salad dressing combined. Try it. Make your salads better tasting with the one and only Miracle Whip. Last night, as the quiet hours rolled by, the great Gildersleeve and his little family slept peacefully in their beds. Well, all except his little nephew, Leroy. He lay awake, and the wheels of his mind were turning around and around. In a little while, they began to turn faster. And faster. And then he got an idea. Now it's morning. Bertie, the housekeeper, is in the kitchen cooking breakfast, and here comes Leroy. Hi, Bertie. Good morning. Leroy, you up already? Yep, I was the first one. What happened? Your bed fall down? No, nope. I got a busy day. I'm flying. Well, you better tuck in your shirt tail. You're not only flying, you flapping. <laughs> okay. What you got there, Leroy? Is that your piggy bank? Yeah, I got a neat idea. I'm going to make a pile of money. Don't you go bust and open that pig. No, I got a better idea than that. I'm going to sell guesses. Guesses? Sure. You know how stores have people guess how many beans in a jar? Well, I'm going to have them guess how much there is in my piggy bank. Ten cents a guess. Keen, huh? How are you going to do that? Well, simple. Everybody guesses how much is in it. The one that's closest gets the pig. Oh, for pity's sake. I got a hundred guys to guess. Ten cents a guy, that's... Uh, that's ten bucks. I get a thousand guys to guess, and that's, that's a hundred bucks. I never heard of a scheme like that. Yeah. And there's only two dollars and thirty cents on the pig. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty neat, huh? Neat? Leroy, you're a slicker. That's what you are. You're a slicker. Yeah. Leroy, come to breakfast. Okay, I'm coming. Guess how much is in the pig for ten cents. What a slicker. Good morning, my boy. Good morning, Leroy. What are you doing over here? Having coffee with Unky. Where's that husband of yours, Marjorie? Oh, Bronco left early. He's working on a big deal. Yeah, so am I. Bronco won't have to work after a while. Neither will you, Unk. What's this? I found out how to make money. It's easy. I get guys to guess how much is in my piggy bank. Ten cents a guess. I make a hundred dollars on one pig. And if I had ten pigs, I'd... Leroy, just a minute. You want to guess? No. Oh, the dizzy idea. What's dizzy about it? Leroy, you can't do that. It's not legal. It isn't? They'd put you in jail. They would? Certainly. <laughs> Poor little Leroy. You thought you had it all figured out, didn't you? Yeah. Well, there are other ways to make money. Plenty of them. I admire your ambition, Leroy, but let's try to think of something a little more practical. You could deliver packages at Mr. Peavy's drugstore. I don't want to run around with aspirin. I want to have a business. Well, that's the right idea, my boy. Hey, how about a roller skating rink in the backyard? All I have to do is put some boards down. Leroy, nobody wants to go skating in our backyard. All they have to do is go out on the sidewalk. Well, I didn't think of that. Yeah. You're smart, huh? Well, I've had experience. <laughs> you get a business where you're selling something people need, like bread and cheese. Cheese? Something that's necessary. You look at me. I'm in water. Everybody has to have that. I uh, see what you mean, Unc. You bet. Start a little business and do it all yourself. Get something everybody needs. For instance, right now, I need a haircut. Okay, I'll be a barber. Where's the scissors? No, just a minute. Uh, that takes training. I was only illustrating the point. If you've got the right idea, and you keep at it, my boy. You'll think of something. Sure. You're keen, Unc. Well, thank you. 
Gildersleeve, you have a wise old head on your shoulders. You should have been a teacher. <laughs> How about a quick haircut? Slip right into the chair, Commish. Floydy Munson puts out the quickest haircuts in town. My electric clippers got overdrive. (laughs) (laughs) I intended to come in this morning, Floyd. I was pretty busy at the office. Had to wait until noon. Pumping a lot of water these days, huh? You bet. Watch those clippers, Floyd. Okay. Uh, little Leroy stopped in to see me this morning. He did? Yeah, what a salesman that kid is. Talked the shirt right off my back. What's this? He's in business, picking up laundry. He is? Sure. Some new outfit in town called the Million Dollar Laundry. I give him all my shirts. That kid's a go-getter, Commission. Sure. And the laundry business is all right. He took my advice. He has something everybody needs. Did you get him the job? Certainly not. He oh. got it himself. I simply advised him. Yeah, the million-dollar laundry. Sounds like a big concern. <laughs> right, George Floyd. That shows you what a boy can do when his uncle gets behind him. The way that kid's going, you're going to stay way behind him. Leroy, <laughs> the laundry king. Yes, yes. Ah, oh, but you got nothing to worry about, Commish. When the kid's a big laundry tycoon, he'll buy his water from you. <laughs> well, it's all right with me, Floyd. After all, I started him out. He's a clever little lad, but it was his old uncle that taught him the principles of business. Yes, sir. How about a shampoo, Commish? A shampoo? Yeah, why not? If your nephew's going to be the head of a laundry, why not launder the head behind the laundry head? <laughs> yeah, sure. Shoot the works, Floyd. <laughs> Leroy must have gone right out this morning and landed that job. It shows he has ability. It shows, too, he has good advice behind him. The boy follows in the footsteps of the man. You know, he makes some pretty big footsteps. <laughs> yeah, I think I'll drop in and tell Peavy about it. Hello, Peavy. Oh, hello, Mr. Gildersleeve. What can I do for the water commissioner today? Well, I haven't had lunch yet, Peavy. What's in the sandwiches today? The same old baloney. <laughs> well, that's good. I'll take a baloney sandwich. You gonna eat it? And certainly, Peavy. Why shouldn't I? Mm, well, no reason, I guess, if you like this stuff. I can't figure out why people come in here to eat. This is a drugstore. Well, people get hungry. Why don't they go to a restaurant? I don't know why I sell sandwiches. Restaurants don't sell aspirin. (laughs) Peavy. There you are, Mr. Gildersleeve. Oh, thank you. Mmm, delicious sandwich. Best I ever tasted. Why do you say all those terrible things about your food? (laughs) Psychology, Mr. Gildersleeve. If I say the food's good, the customer says it's bad. But if I say it's bad, the customer says it's good. Just tricks of the trade. <laughs> uh, Phoebe, you're shrewd. By the way, have you heard about Leroy? Yes, Leroy was in this morning. Says he's in the laundry business. Yep, my idea. You don't say. Sure. Boy wanted to make some money, so I coached him how to get started. I'm beginning right now to give the boy the benefit of my experience, Phoebe. Mm, yes. Yeah. Well, I hope that laundry does good work. I sent all my shirts. You did? What a nice thing to do. And you won't have to worry. Leroy's doing just as I told him. Why, George, he's going to be exactly like his uncle. Yeah, he's taking after you, all right. You bet. Working with the laundry, he has the water and the same old soft soap. (laughs) (laughs) Davey, you know I never soft soap anybody. Yeah, no, I wouldn't say that. (laughs) 
What a kidder. Soft soul. He's a wonderful little fellow. He just says those things because he likes me. Hey, Aunt! Oop, Leroy. Well! Hi, Aunt! You're pulling your little wagon. And loaded with bundles. Yeah. Did like you told me, Aunt. I got a business. I'm in laundry. So I hear. A million dollar laundry. That's keen, Aunt. I got all kinds of customers already. Floyd Munson, Mr. Peavy, Judge Hooker. The judge? Well, good. Leroy, you're doing fine. Sure. I'm getting all the important people in town. How about you, Aunt? Can I have your laundry business? You certainly can, my boy. After all, we're practically partners. Where's your bundle? You'll find my shirts upstairs in the clothes hamper. Okay. How about the one you got on? The one I've got on? You got a spot on that cuff. Well, I'll keep my coat on. I have to go back to the office. Okay, I'll get it tonight. See you later, Aunt. What a salesman. Floyd was right. He'll talk the shirt right off your back. Glad this day's over. It was hot in the office. Keeping my coat on all afternoon to cover up that spot on my shirt. Yeah, I wonder how little Leroy is getting along on his new job. Yeah, how can he miss? Is that you, Uncle Moore? Yeah, I'm home, Marjorie. Where's Leroy? Oh, he's here. Well, good. Have you heard about the laundry? Have I heard? Marjorie, I practically suggested it. Remember this morning when Leroy asked me for advice? You suggested it? Well, it was the same thing. <laughs> Leroy's just a boy. He needs an older head to help him along. How's he doing? Ask Bertie. Huh? Just go out in the kitchen and ask Bertie. Yeah, I don't like the sound of this. What's going on around here? Hello, Bertie. Well, you home at last, Mr. Gilsey. I'm glad you home. Oh, what's up, Bertie? It ain't what's up, Mr. Gilsey. It's what's down in the basement. What's in the basement? Leroy. You know what that boy's doing, Mr. Gilfleet? Well, yes, Bertie. You know but... what he's doing in that basement, Mr. Gilfleet? No, Bertie. Look but... at that sign he stuck up on the basement door. Million Dollar Laundry. Leroy Forrester, President. Woofer. That's what he's doing in the basement in my washing machine. In the washing machine? He's doing washing. He's doing everybody's washing in my washing machine. Well, Bertie, now wait. Let's look and see. I ain't looking. I'm just sitting and fuming. I ain't looking. <laughs> but the boy was only He's trying... got the soap down there, and that machine's are going. The suds is going to be coming out the windows, and I'm sitting and fuming. No, Bertie. Let's look at this comedy. Leroy's just a boy. And you'll have to admit it's a pretty clever idea. Suds going to be coming out the windows. Now, now, wait. More than one big business was started just this way. Maybe he didn't go about it just right, but at least he's trying. Let's try to be understanding. I understand. He's down there with the soap, and the machines are going. Oh, and... what's the use? I'll go down and see what's going on. Hi, huh? I don't have my laundry. Leroy, I didn't know you were going to do this in the basement. I said I didn't know you were going to do this in the basement. Well, I can't take the washing machine upstairs. Boy, I'm really tired of the stuff. Leroy, turn it off. Aunt, you're not sore. Sore? Me? Certainly not. Bertie and Marjorie are a little upset, though. Yes, they'll be all right. You have the right idea. You took the bull by the horns and started your own business. That's what counts. Of course, you'll have to find some other way to do it. But I'm not angry with you for this. No, sir. Oh, keen, Unc. Yeah, I told all the fellows what a smart boy you were. Just like your uncle. And this proves it. Gee, thanks. Look at all the shirts I got. Yours and everybody. Well, good for you. Whose shirt is this? Gee, I don't know. You don't know? How are you going to tell who they belong to? they belong to? How are you going to get the right shirts back to the right people? Back to the right people? You mean you didn't mark them? Uh-uh. Leroy! <laughs> the 
Greg Gildersleeve will be back in just a minute. One of the tricks to serving salads at their best is to serve them on salad plates or in salad bowls that are well chilled. Another important trick to serving delicious salads is to use a salad dressing you can depend on to give your salad just the right flavor. That's why so many good cooks all over America use Miracle Whip salad dressing. Miracle Whip has a flavor that millions of folks call just exactly right. It's a wonderful, peppy flavor that's just sharp enough. And it's a different flavor, one that you won't find in any other salad dressing. That's because Miracle Whip is made from a secret craft recipe, a recipe that combines the very best qualities of old-fashioned boil dressing and fine, rich mayonnaise. Miracle Whip has a marvelous texture, too. It's creamy, thick, and satiny because this dressing is blended thoroughly with special beaters. No wonder Miracle Whip has become the most popular salad dressing ever created, actually outselling the next 20 leading brands of salad dressing combined. Whether you're preparing a very special salad for guests or just fixing a simple, healthful salad for that favorite family of yours, take the guesswork out of salad making. Use the salad dressing you can depend on to be velvet smooth and delicious every time. The one and only Miracle Whip. Well, it seems Leroy's million-dollar laundry has made a slight mistake. Plenty of shirts came into the laundry, but now there's a little problem of getting them back to the right people. In fact, it isn't a little problem at all. It's a mighty big one. The Million Dollar Laundry has had the shirts over a week now, and the president is in trouble. Well, I didn't mean to get them mixed up. Well, I know you didn't mean to, but they are. You'll have to figure some way to sort them out. How can I sort them out? Well, don't ask me. This is your laundry. It's your idea. But they all look alike. Yeah, I know. The white shirt looks like every other white shirt. And mine are in there, too. You better think of something, Leroy, and you'd better think fast. Aren't you going to help me, Aunt? No, sir. It's your business. You got yourself into this mess. Now you get yourself out. I'm going out for a walk. <laughs> that boy has to learn to watch it. It's his own fault. It's not mine. What a mess. Poor little kid. He's scared. Well, he deserves to be scared. It'll do him good. Kind of a mean trick, though. Leaving him in trouble like that. Gildersleeve, don't be a heel. I'm not being a heel. Yes, you are. Well, maybe I am. Don't cry. We'll figure out something. You want to help me? Sure. That's all a part of being a good businessman, my boy. There's no problem that's too big to be solved. And we'll solve this one. Gee, thanks, Unc. You bet. We'll straighten this out in jig time. Telephone, Unky. It's probably for you. I'll take it, Marjorie. Hello? Hello, Kelby. Is Leroy there? Leroy? Yes, certainly, Judge. Leroy, it's for you. Me? Hello? Leroy, this is Judge Hooker. I've been wondering about my shirts. You have? What'd he say? He's wondering about his shirts. Hello? Hello? What do I tell him, Unc? Well, tell him... Leroy, how can you get that pile of shirts off the back porch? Oh, brother. Hello? We can't move out there, Unky. Hello? What do I tell him, Unc? How'd I ever get back into this? <laughs> Leroy, tell him he can have his shirts this afternoon. Hello, Judge. Yes? Unc says you can have them this afternoon. What's he doing with them? Wait a minute. He wants to know what you're doing with them. You for... Give me the phone, Leroy. Judge? Kelly? Hang up, you old goat. What about my shirts? You have them this afternoon, and you can eat them for dinner. Goodbye. What are you going to do, Uncle? Unc says he'll get the shirts back this afternoon and he'll get them back, won't you, Unc? Well, I had to tell the judge something. I don't know how we're going to sort out these darn shirts. 
why don't you let the fellows come to the house and pick them out? They'll recognize them. Sure, they'll... Say, that's not a bad idea. We'll make a little party out of it. Serve punch and cookies. <laughs> sure. Every man picks out his own shirts. Why, George, I knew I'd find a way out of this thing. <laughs> hello? That you, Commish? This is Floyd. Oh, hello, Floyd. I bet I know what you're calling about. Oh, yeah? You've lost your shirt. <laughs> This ain't no joke, Commish. I've been wearing the same shirt for three days. Well, so have I. Keep your shirt on. <laughs> Everything's going to be all right. What happened to my laundry? Well, a little mix-up, Floyd. The markings got lost. We're having a little get-together at my house this afternoon with refreshments. Come on over and pick out your shirts. Yeah, but... It's well, just one of those things. It can happen in the best of laundries. But I'm taking charge, so you don't have to worry. Just come over this afternoon about 5 o'clock. Okay, Commissioner. See you later, Floyd. How we doing, Unc? Great. I told you I'd get this straightened out. Gee, you're the smartest uncle in the whole world. Well, it's all a matter of using your head, my boy. Yes, sir. Miss Gill, please, what about them shirts? Oh, it's all settled, Bertie. We'll all pitch in and iron them up neatly, and then the fellows are coming over this afternoon to pick them out. <laughs> Clever idea, don't you think? You mean they're going to come in and find their own shirt? Sure. And I'll pick out mine, too. Mine are in there. We'll make a nice little party of it. <laughs> What's so funny? <laughs> this is allowed to be some party. What's that? What happens when two men both decide on the same shirt? <laughs> oh, that couldn't happen, Bertie. It couldn't. Miss Gilsey, have you ever been to a bargain sale? Well, it won't be like that, Bertie. I can see them men tearing into them shirts. Miss Gilsey, you're going to have a hassle. Now, Bertie? Yes, sir. I can see them men pulling and yanking. You're going to have a hassle. Yeah. All right, Bertie. Miss Gilsey, you know what you're going to have? Yes, That's Bertie. right. You're going to have a hassle. <laughs> Set them on the table there with the punch. And quit eating them. I have the last of the shirts, Uncle. Oh, good. Spread them out there on the couch, my dear. The others are on the dining room table. Holy cow, I really took in the laundry. Yes, yes. Almost five o'clock, Miss Gilsey. Well, I'm all ready, Bertie. What are you doing? I'm taking the breakables out of the living room. If there's going to be a hassle in here, I'm going to save all the good stuff. <laughs> Oh, here they come, Monkey. I'll open the door. I'll go to the door. It's my laundry. Hi, Leroy. Hello, Mr. Munson. Come on in. Good afternoon, Mr. Munson. Hello, Marge. Hi, Commish. Well, greetings, Floyd. You're the first one here. Yep, that's me. Come early and stay late. Figured I'd get here a little ahead of time, get the pick of the shirt. <laughs> no, take it easy, Floyd. Wait till the others get here. Oh, you got the best one spotted already, huh, Commish? I'll get it. Well, good afternoon, Leroy. Hi, Judge. Hello, Mr. Peavy. Leroy. Well, Judge and Peavy, glad to see you. Glad to see you, Gilda. I'm glad to see my shirt. <laughs> Hello, Floyd. Hi, Judge and Peavy. Floyd. Hey, if the chief was here, we could have a Jolly Boys meeting. Goodbye, George. We could at that. Yeah, I'm certainly happy to see you fellows taking this thing in a friendly spirit. Well, you never can tell, Gilda. I might go out of here with better shirts than I ever had before. <laughs> I didn't wear my glasses. <laughs> no, Judge. Hey, we ought to draw straws to see who gets first crack at them. No, indeed. It's every man for himself. <laughs> oh, brother. Maybe Bertie was right. Well, we're all here. All shirt owners. Yeah, I'm in the same boat, you know. So, fellows, look them over and find your own. Sure, let's get started. Come on. And let's minute. not get excited. Huh? There are plenty of shirts for everybody. Yeah, I know we all trust each other. Why, of course we do, Gilda. Let me see. That looks like mine with the pearl button. This one's mine. 
Say, this is like a game. I spy. I found another shirt. <laughs> now, Judge, don't overdo this. You got one there with your frayed collar? Here's another one. That's two I got. Yeah, I got three. Listen, I don't pull that. Oh, oh look at him go. This is the best party we ever had. <laughs> took care of that situation. You sure did, Unc. You bet. They all got their shirts back, and they had a fine time besides. Yeah, what a nice bunch of fellows. Yeah, keen guys. Sure. You see, there was no squabbling. It all worked perfectly. Not a single shirt left. I noticed that, Unky. Where are your shirts? Uh, my... <laughs> my shirts. Oop, forgot all about them. And they're all gone. Oh, what a sneaky thing to do. Leroy! The Great Gildersleeve will be with us again in just 30 seconds. Want to make your vegetable salad extra delicious? Add tiny flowerets of chilled raw cauliflower to it for a special flavor touch. And use a really good salad dressing. Use Miracle Whip, the salad dressing with the lively, teasing flavor. The flavor millions of folks call just right. Miracle Whip has a special peppy flavor you won't find in any other salad dressing anywhere. Try it. Enjoy delicious salad made with Miracle Whip. Yes. Uh, you can give me four white shirts, size 1636. Mm-hmm. There you are. Shall I wrap them? No, no, just put them in a bag. Yes, sir. Yeah, that'll be seven eighty-five with the tax. Hello, Gilder. Well, hello, Judge. What do you have in the bag? I just came from the bakery. It's full of dried bread from the kitchen. I'll set it here on the counter. Nice party yesterday, Gilda. Yeah, nice. Ate all my cookies, drank all my punch, and somebody ran off with my shirts. Probably you, Judge. Me? Well, if that's the way you feel, I'll take my bag and be on my way. Goodbye. Goodbye. Well, I'll take my shirts. Shirts. Whoops. Judge. Judge, you got the wrong bag. Dry bread. Oh, keep it. Gildersleeve, today you're the pigeon. (laughs) Good night. Gildersleeve is played by Willard Waterman. The show is written by John Elliott and Andy White and is transcribed. Included in the cast are Walter Tetley, Mary Lee Robb, Lillian Randolph, Arthur Q. Bryan, Earl Ross, and Dick Legrand. Musical compositions by Jack Meekin. This is John Heaston saying goodnight for the Kraft Foods Company, makers of the famous line of Kraft quality food products. Be sure to listen in next Wednesday and every Wednesday for the further adventures of The Great Gildersleeve.